I tell you what, this has got to be the coolest sweater on YouTube. Yep, we are mad styling today, boys. What is happening, guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have for you an exclusive look at the new product coming out from the Lockhart's line, Anti-Gravity. This is an exclusive here to this channel only, and I'm not only gonna give you guys all the info on how it works and what it is, but I'm also gonna show you how it's made. I am super pumped for today's video, so without wasting any more time, this is Behind the Brew, Anti-Gravity. Anti-gravity has really become the white whale to my Ahab. It's been quite a journey, quite a mission of mine to, to create this product. And there's been lots of trials and failures and errors along the way. That's actually, it's, it's kept me from other projects that I really wanted to focus on because I've been so determined to make this product work. And after a process of over two years, I think we've finally done it. So what is anti-gravity? Uh, it's, a, it's a stronghold, matte finish, high volume, high texture product that's super easy to style with. It's got a great clean scent and it's, it's the perfect addition for the Lockhart's lineup. First thing we do before we get started is we're going to clean everything up. We're going to make, we're going to spray everything down with denatured alcohol, uh, get all the germs and all that stuff off everything, make sure it's sterile. So the, in the first phase, we're going to start off on the oil phase. First ingredient we're going to add in is going to be the microcrystalline wax. Um, I've always hand cut my microcrystalline wax, so that's how I'm just going to keep doing it until, I don't know, I get carpal tunnel or something. The micro wax just gives it a little extra hold, gives it a little more pliability. Um, next up, next ingredient we're going to add in is going to be the natural beeswax. We're going to, that's used because it's got, there's a lot of great uh, vitamins and nutrients in, in beeswax and it provides structure to the hair, provides hold. So then we're going to add the Satirith 20. Uh, what that's going to do is it's, it's, it's an emulsifier that allows for the oil and the water to mix. So next we're going to add just a little bit of coconut oil. Um, not too much because if we add too much it's going to make the hair greasy. Um, so we just put a little bit in so that it can, can provide a little bit of heat protectant and it's gonna add some extra vitamins and nourishing effect to the hair. So now we're gonna add the PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil. Again, that's another ingredient that's, it's derived from castor oil. Um, it's, a, it's another ingredient that we're gonna use that's gonna help emulsify everything, allow the water and the oils and all that stuff to mix together. Now that we've got the oil phase put together, we'll put that on the heat, let everything melt down. Um, and while, while that's happening, we'll get our water phase put together. So the first thing we're gonna do with the water phase is we're going to add the, the water phase emulsifiers as well. So the emulsifiers, as we said in the, the oil phase, these are going to allow for all of the ingredients to, all the molecules and the ingredients to loosen up. That way that we can, then we can uh, blend everything together, get the oil phase and the water phase uh, mixed properly. Um, the first ingredient that we're going to add is the PEG-7 glycerol cocoa it's, uh, it's derived from coconut oil. Um, and that's just, we're just going to put in just enough to where Everything mixes up properly. Next, we're gonna add the polysorbate 20. Again, same thing, that, that really helps with essential oils and stuff like that. Um, and then we're gonna move into just adding the water. Now, once the water is added on, what, what, what I've found works best to prevent any evaporation is I cover it up with saran wrap. Simple saran wrap you can find anywhere at any store. And now we're just gonna set it aside and we're gonna wait for the oil phase to heat up. And once that's at the proper temperature, then we'll start heating our water. So next up is the acrylates. These are one of the most important ingredients in this process. It was one of the, mo the most difficult to source. And um, what these do is it just provides structure to not only just the formula, but it's also gonna allow it to provide structure to your hair while you're styling. So now that we've got the acrylates mixed in properly, we're gonna add it back onto the boilers and get the get that heated back up to temp. Uh, hi, yeah, me again. Sorry to interrupt the video, but going through the footage and making this video, I realized that in our excitement of filming and refilming, we skipped over a key ingredient. Totally skipped it over. Don't know how that happened, but luckily I'm here to help out. In this phase, Steve is using silica, which is a non-harmful ingredient that basically absorbs into the hair and makes it swell, thus making it appear thicker and fuller. I know, it's so freaking cool. I have no idea how we missed that. But let's keep this thing rolling. Let's throw it back on over to Steve. Here we go. So now we're gonna be checking our temperatures, make sure that we can get them to an equilibrium where we can actually mix the water phase into the oil phase. Once we get both the oil phase 
phase and the water phase up to the proper temperatures. Now we can add the water phase to the oil phase. Now that we've got everything mixed up, I'm gonna add it back onto the heat, get it heated back up to 180 degrees, um, and I'm gonna keep mixing it through the, throughout the entire um, heating process. Now that we've got everything heated up, we can start measuring out our clays. We're gonna use a mixture of bentonite and kaolin. Bentonite's a little bit thicker. It's gonna uh, absorb into the hair and plump it up a little bit. And then the kaolin's also gonna provide uh, the absorption necessary to get rid of any, any additional greasiness or shine. Now that we've got the product warmed back up, we're, we're back up to 180 degrees. We can pull it off the heat. We're gonna set it off to the side and now we're gonna start mixing in the clays. The stick blender's used because it's, it, it spins at a much higher rate than, uh, than mixing it by hand. Um, that allows the water and the oil to really mix properly. Um, and it also it makes it so you can actually beat down the clay enough to where there's not gonna be any clumps or any, any weird consistency once it's all finished. Um, so now we're gonna add in a few, few different extracts. We're gonna use the cucumber extract and a rosemary extract. Um, these are just going to add additional vitamins to your hair. It's just going to make it so you, your hair remains strong and soft. And it's going to add a little bit of another level of um, heat protection as you're blow drying. So now we're going to start adding in our uh, essential oils. We've got a mixture of clove, lemon, lime, a few other different uh, essential oils that we're using. Each one has its own benefit and they all smell great. So now we're going to weigh out our fragrance, add a little bit of fragrance in. Um, the fragrance on this, it's a real, real fresh citrusy fragrance. Um, it's something that I think everyone's going to enjoy. It, it's not going to clash with any cologne or anything like that. It'll just be very enjoyable for the user. And it's at this point that we are going to uh, start putting in the most important part of this whole, this whole process. We're going to preserve the product. Um, we're going to use a combination of phenoxyethanol and sorbic acid to make sure there's no any, uh, any, any microbials or any bacteria or anything that's gonna be forming in the product as it sits, so it gives it a longer shelf life. So now that we got everything mixed up, uh, we're gonna stir it one last time, on, and then we're just gonna keep watching our temperature until it's down to a safe level where we can start pouring it into the jars. So now what we have is the anti-gravity matte paste. Uh, we call it a matte paste, but really what it is, is a, a combination, hybrid combination of uh, a fiber, a clay, a paste, a cream, all kinds of different stuff to, to create this really unique product that that's, I think it's just gonna blow people's minds. So now, now you probably wanted to know when this is finally gonna release, right? Should be mid-February. Time out. Hello there. This thing's cool, huh? Look at that. What's up, Steve? So, that whole mid-February thing. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen, obviously. That is come and gone. As things do with new releases, some hiccups and big things come along and push the project back. We've seen it plenty of times. So, with that being said, the actual drop date for anti-gravity is Monday, March 12th at 7.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Lockhart's website, which will obviously be linked in the description down below. Okay, everybody got that? Awesome. Now that that's all cleared up, let's get back to the video. You ready? So it's been over two years. Um, it's been one of the most frustrating products to develop throughout the, the, uh, the entire being of Lockhart's. Um, and I think we finally put something together that's really special. I look forward to all of you being able to use the product and I really hope everybody enjoys it.